Have you ever had sex with one of your teachers? Yes. You're probably wondering how a nice boy like Norman Bates could get himself into such a precarious situation. If it's all seeming a little hazy, let's rewind to the beginning and let me catch you up. Okay, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, there, there, stop. Okay, this was it. The date all began. Okay, here it goes. Norman stumbles into the garage to find his father, dead. Dad? Norman seems conspicuously unfazed. They move to White Pine Bay to start over. We own a motel, Norman Bates. Norman goes to school where he meets the town it girl, Bradley. You're different, aren't you? Myself. Do you have some sort of chronic illness? And of course, the curiously inappropriate Miss Watson, who shows no interest in hiding her affection. Norman comes home to find Norma being raped by the previous owner of the house, Keith Summers. Norman smacks Keith in the head with some kind of iron thingy, which gives Norma enough time to tie Keith up and plunge a knife into his belly about 10 or 15 times. They dump Keith's body, but not before running into Sheriff's Romero and Shelby, who almost discover their plan. Meanwhile, Norma's estranged son, Dylan, tracks her down. It's a really nice town you picked here, Norma, to uh, start a new life and all, Stop you know? calling me Norma. Romero and Shelby show up asking about Keith, and of course, Norma's like, Keith who? Norman. Oh. Norman passes out right into Miss Watson's arms. Then he announces to Norma that... I kept Keith's belt. You know what you have to do, don't you? Norma tells Dylan that Norman killed his dad with a blunder. <laughs> then right before I show up as Norman's date for the dance, Norman decides to confess that... My brother used to make me have sex with him. Poor Norma. Look at Emma! Norman and I go to the dance. He stares at Bradley all night. I leave. Norman walks home in the rain, gets picked up by Miss Watson. Come on, get in! And she takes him home to get out of those wet clothes. Of course, Mother appears. Norman, you know what you have to do. Prompting Norman to... Well, that's where things get even hazier. <sighs> Everything is good. Season two begins with Norma getting a call from school. Hello? Miss Watson is dead. Norman goes Niagara Falls at Miss Watson's funeral and then goes home to fondle her pearls while staring out into the rain. That's not creepy. Four months later, Norman has turned the basement into a taxidermy lab. You spend your days taking apart dead animals. It's just weird. Norman gets obsessed with Miss Watson's death. Why are you obsessed with her death? I went to her house that night. Meanwhile, Bradley and the guy who killed her dad get together for a drink and she blows him away. Norma researches blackouts. Do you know anything about blackouts? Finds Miss Watson's pearls under Norman's bed. Norman! and discovers her rapist brother, Caleb, is in town. But wait. I'm not gonna let him hurt you. There is more. Caleb is his dad. Norman has a blackout and visits Uncle Caleb. Son of a bitch. Which begs the question. Who am I and what do I do? I don't want you to ever ask me again. Well, Sheriff Romero deduces. I know you had sex with Blair Watson the night she was murdered. Later, Norman gets kidnapped and locked inside a rusty box. <laughs> has a nice juicy flashback where he remembers he killed Miss Watson and then gets rescued by Dylan and Sheriff Romero. Norman decides to end it all in the woods. Norman! But Norma talks him down and then plants a big wet one on him. What's that all about? Meanwhile, Sheriff Romero has arranged for a secret polygraph test. Did you kill Blair Watson? Which leads us back to where we started and just in the nick of time. You didn't kill Blair Watson. Mother saved the day. I did. So there you have it. See you March 9th.